I noticed one time I let my computer sit and my amount of used hard drive space kept creeping up very quickly and it was, the hard drive was being accessed a lot and it was just being very bogged down and I remembered that Logan from Tech Syndicate said that Windows or Microsoft is actually loading Windows 10 onto all Windows 7 and Windows 8 machines without you knowing it, taking up like 15 gigabytes of hard drive space. Well, by the time I did that, and by the time I'd gotten around to trying to remove that update, I'd already used up like 10 gigabytes of space. There's also down here a little icon saying update to Windows 10, but fuck that, I'm not going to put Windows 10 on this thing. Windows 7 is working perfect. Windows 7 is almost as good as Windows XP. It just has a little more compatibility with, with stuff. So, I tinkered around with removing that update that was ta that, well, that was running that one program that was taking over a lot of the hard drive and it was using up my internet and all that kind of shit. Just, it's, it's almost like a virus that Microsoft put on my computer. So, what I did was... Oh, by the way, just as a side note, Defraggler works very nice because it updates in real time, so when, whenever you delete a file, you can see the number tick down. And when you add files, you can see the number tick up and stuff like that. So it's it, this, the used and free space widget on here, or whatever you'd call it, is pretty, like, pretty quickly updating. But I go to uh, command, to open up the command prompt. Now I type in PowerShell. that enters in the Windows PowerShell. On here, we're going to search for update KB3035583. And in order to search for KB3035583, we get git space hotfix space or er, line ID uppercase K uppercase B 303 5583 I believe that's right we let that run for a little bit and it should display if we have it or not now of course I just deleted that and then reinstalled it for the sake of this video I couldn't get it to start taking a hard drive space so we'll just oh it actually did install okay cool but I'm not really sure if it started updating. I think what it does is it, it waits for a time whenever you're not using your computer as much to sneak it in, in the background when you wouldn't notice it so yeah, but I mean, I was using this, so I, I, I noticed it. Now, in order to remove it, I'm going to see about typing in... Actually, I guess you exit to leave the PowerShell. And then we'll type in forward slash uninstall forward slash lowercase kb. I believe that's called a colon. Not really sure. And we will have 303.55. Oh, whoops. 5583. Yep, yep, that's the one I want to get rid of. Huh. That's weird. Uninstall didn't work. Oh, is it? I have to put WSA in front. Okay, so we have WUSA forward slash uninst. Un okay, yeah. Just want to make sure that's right. Forward slash horse case KB, whatever that is. 303 5583. Oh, look at that. You want to uninstall the following Windows software update. Update for Microsoft Windows KB3035583. Yes. Now, whenever we restart, I wonder if that upgrade to Windows 10 will go away. It uses quite a bit of space. You can see the numbers changing down here as it's deleting stuff. Interestingly enough, it looks like it's using more space. We start later. Hmm, interesting. Now let's restart the computer and see if this little icon to, that nags you about updating to Windows 10 
will in fact go away. Oh yeah, look at that. No Windows 10 naggery down there. Yep, and nothing in there. Awesome. Quite happy. So there we go. I ended up removing the Windows 10 update thing. Saved 10 gigabytes of hard drive space and didn't fully fuck up Windows 7. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!